Hello, everybody. My name is Isaac Young. I'm the Vice President and Head of Fargo uh, for HID's uh, Secure Issuance uh, Division. Uh, I'm here at Jitex uh, today, uh, showing off a, a number of new uh, products and meeting with uh, meeting with partners. I've been part of HID now for uh, 29 years, holding a, a variety of roles, uh, but most currently running this Fargo. Business. So as we were uh, talking in our, our little preamble here, uh, Jitex is amazing, huge, kind of mind blowing for me just to see the scale of, of the event, uh, the the sort of variety of products that, that we see here and, and the depth of knowledge that is in this room. Uh, yeah, for us, uh, Jitex is one of our premier shows of, of the year. Uh, we make it a point uh, every year to show up, to show up in a big way with a, with a nice, beautiful booth here, uh, because this is really where uh, our customers from Middle East and Africa uh, come to, to meet with us and have uh, important discussions about our our business and to, to hear everything that we're doing that's new in the coming year. So for us, what we really are excited about is uh, we have a new printer, uh, but it's also an old printer. And, and the reason I say that is uh, we're showing today the HDP 5000E. Uh, the E stands for enhanced, and the HDP 5000 original version was released all the way back in 2007 but it's become the industry standard in retransfer printing uh, for high quality and high definition uh, printing for ID badges. And so rather than reinvent the wheel, rather than starting from scratch, we've taken a great recipe and we've modernized it with new electronics uh, and some valuable new features. And that's what we're showing as our, our premier solution here today. Yeah, so some of the things that are, are very interesting about the, the new version here are, are one, uh, we take uh, an environmental stance uh, with this product. Uh, for the, the first time ever, we've taken some major CO2 uh, emissions out of our production. And so we have about a 30% reduction in CO2 emissions uh, from the production of this machine. Uh, we have science-based targets and a, a scope three goal to continually reduce our carbon footprint. Uh, that's one of the things. Some people are, are, are more interested in that. Uh, some people would like to know more of the features and, and functionalities. When it comes to features and functionalities, we've made the printer a little bit faster. We do uh, a new industrial design with some different uh, sort of texturing and, and uh, uh, format on, on the outside of the printer. We've added a, a speed enhancement, so we're a little bit faster than we used to be. And then it sounds very, very basic, but this printer has a power switch. And it may sound basic, but a power switch on, on a printer gives uh, the users confidence. Is it on? Is it off? And gives them the option to turn it all the way off so that we can save electricity and not use electricity, keeping it at an optimal temperature throughout the day. For us, it's always very important that uh, the data that goes to the printer, the data that resides within the printer as we are producing these identities, uh, all of it is in encrypted. So we make sure that data comes from an encrypted source that we protect uh, the communication lines, that it is protected while it's inside the printer, and the machine holds no data whatsoever, so we're not holding any PII uh, whatsoever. That's the way that we make sure that uh, we have security with the printer. We also are, are taking steps uh, to make it a security hardened uh, printer, uh, adopting a, like a zero trust type framework to make sure that we have uh, uh, authentication to the printer and, and such as you interact. So the role of AI within our, our product space, uh, one, you would see if you're someone that needs to make a, a lot of badges, you usually get a lot of photos submitted of the badges, uh, the photos that need to go on the badge. Uh, we have some partnerships uh, uh, with, with, uh, with some of our expanded network that have uh, AI that is used to optimize photos, uh, cleaning up small blemishes, uh, Removing backgrounds, maybe if you have a ball cap on, removing the ball pack. We don't we don't transform everybody and make them look more beautiful, but we want to make sure that you have a clean, crisp photo. And so we do some partnerships that, that use AI in, in that way. We also, within HID, we have our own GPT uh, that is separated from public GPTs uh, so that uh, we can have a secure use of it without uh, exposing maybe sensitive data. Uh, and so we use that as we uh, do data mining, as we as we organize data, as we are, are working to think about new solutions even and, and such. And, and so we've been finding it a, a fast tool to help us iterate much, much faster as we do our design. The response to the new printer is, is overwhelming. Now, we knew that we had a hit on our hand 
because as I mentioned, we've been selling this printer since 2007. Uh, it's industry leading and, and such that we knew you don't mess with the recipe, you just make some small changes. We knew that we would have a hit and uh, the, the market reaction has very much confirmed that. Yeah, for us, the Middle East and, and Africa, we, we would consider them a, a combined region for, for my business and we see growth opportunities in, in both sectors. Uh, in the Middle East, uh, it mainly revolves around uh, government uh, identities and an expanded use cases uh, for those uh, government identities. In Africa, uh, we have a population boom. And when populations boom, there is a bigger need for more identities, and thus uh, that's good for us. So we are here uh, uh, expanding our partnerships, uh, thinking about whether we need to expand distribution, uh, and making sure that all of our current uh, customers and resellers are well armed to serve the expanding market. So for this year, we will we will have uh, maybe five or seven percent growth uh, for for the region, but we do expect 2025 through 2028. Uh, every five years, we do a refresh strategy. And so we've just finished our strategy work all the way through 2028. Uh, we see that growth trend, and honestly, a growth trend in physical cards, not just mobile identities, but also physical cards, to continue for the next 10 years. And for the card-based products that we sell, roughly, again, about that 7% rate over the next period. Oh, well, we'll absolutely be back next year, and we will have some more new products for you at that point. Thank you.